Jay Siadam. It is truly an honor and a pleasure to be here today at Morari Bapu's Ramkatha, the University of Cambridge, on Indian Independence Day. Bapu, I'm here today not as Prime Minister, but as a Hindu. For me, faith is very personal. It guides me in every aspect of my life. Being Prime Minister is a great honour, but it is not an easy job. There are difficult decisions to make, hard choices to confront, and our faith gives me courage, strength, and resilience to do the best I can for our country. For me, it was a wonderful and special moment to light Leah's for Diwali outside 11 Downing Street, back when I was Chancellor. And just like Mapu has a golden Hanuman in his background, I am proud that a golden Ganesh sits gleefully on my desk at 10 Downing Street. a constant reminder to me of the importance of listening and reflecting on issues before acting. Now, I am proud to be British, proud to be Hindu. Apart <laughs> from growing up, I have very fond memories of attending our own local mandir in Southampton. My parents and family would organise havans, pujas, artis. Afterwards, I would help serve lunch and prasad with my brother and sister and cousins. Our values and what I see Bapu does each day of his life are the values of selfless service, devotion and keeping faith. But perhaps the greatest value is duty or seva as we know it. These Hindu values are very much shared British values. Many of you, like my parents and grandparents, came to this country with very little, mainly from India and East Africa, from Kenya or Tanzania, like my parents, or from Uganda, following the expulsion. All your stories are an example to us all. You worked your way up to give my generation the greatest opportunities ever. And today, I want to say thank you. Thank you to the generation who worked day and night for our education and our today. Without you, I and we would not be here today. And now, now is the time for my generation to give back in whatever way that we can. I leave here today remembering the Ramayan which Bapu speaks on, but also the Bhagavad Gita and the Hanuman Chalisa. And for me, Lord Rama will always be an inspirational figure to face life's challenges with courage, to govern with humility, and to work selflessly. Bapu, with your blessings, I aspire to lead in accordance with how our scriptures have taught leaders to lead. And thank you, Bapu, for everything that you do. You're <laughs> Your teachings of truth, love, and compassion are more relevant now than they have ever been. I'm in awe of your stamina and devotion. You have just returned from conducting a Qatar just last week in India, covering 12,000 kilometers across the subcontinent <laughs> and stopping at all 12 main shivlings of India. And I thought I traveled a lot. <laughs> now I have been overwhelmed by the love and the support of the British people, and particularly from all of you. Your support. 
in closing, let me just say this. Your support means a great deal to me. I'm truly touched by the warm welcome I've received here today. I wish you all very well, and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. JCLR.